Okay, hello, let's begin everyone. Uh, welcome everyone to my uh, video, to my, to my channel, to my stream. Um, today I'll be taking a look at a photo reference piece. So we're going, going back to studies now. I know we've had a little bit of fun with illustrations and all that. But we will be taking a look at some stuff, going back to the, to the sticks and the bones and the, and, and the foundation stuff. Um, and uh, I'll be taking a look at a 14 day challenger as well and kind of just ro ro roasting them. Uh, making sure that any bad habits are nipped right in the bud, giving them a good shave. And before I get started, let's uh, take a look at some links. So Istabrak, you're amazing at teaching Istabrak. You're just the best at critiquing. How do I get my work critiqued by you? Well, my beautiful loving fan who thinks I'm the best thing that ever happened to art. Um, you go to istabrak.com and you click on the Reddit icon right here. You join this Reddit in order to be a part of the community. Um, this, you submit your stuff here. This is where I pick stuff to critique. As you can see, I picked today's critique from um, this group here. It's, it's on this wall. And sometimes I'll pick illustrations, sometimes I'll pick studies, and I'll talk about them. It just depends on how I feel. And not really, it also depends on what the community is in need of. So something that I've noticed, a trend in, in the community, I, I noticed, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it. If you want to get announcements, how do you get announcements? Well, I submit stuff on Reddit here. Some of my Twitch links are on Reddit. But also just go straight to Twitch and subscribe. I don't know what it means to subscribe. I think subscribing you have to pay, but you can follow a channel. Just to follow them, you get a notification. It's much better and more dependable than YouTube streaming, which is why I moved over into Twitch. Best decision of my life so far. Um, YouTube is where I submit recordings and streams. So for those who are fresh from Twitch, uh, YouTube is where I submit today's critique hour. Um, and a big change that has happened in my channel recently, I am no longer uh, posting uh, one hour recordings of the streams. The only place to watch the full stream is to join the stream itself or you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, like, like we did today, or to join as a patron for $1. So that's $1 a month. You get all of the eight hours a month uh, for that $1. Uh, so um, do join us there if you'd like. All the money that you send towards Patreon goes towards supporting the community. Um, it goes towards freeing up my time. It goes towards keeping Critique Hour alive. It basically pays for Critique Hour and the hours that I, I, I allocate just for the community. It's not, there's no fee for Critique Hour. It's free, it's pro bono, it's for everyone. And all the artists that have ever benefited from my channel have done so without, uh, without any fees. Um, all the 100 subscribers that I have um, had not, didn't have to pay a dime for, for, for my channel, but it's just an avenue to support if you, um, want to see this, uh, you know, survive and last a little bit longer. I am making changes, so the videos that are posted, um, on YouTube will be segments, 20 minute segments, stuff like that, that might be a little bit easier on my channel and, and to be recommended and just spread the community a bit uh, further across the globe. Really, I don't make you money through YouTube. YouTube is not how I make money. It's not. I don't make money through AdSense. I think like a hundred dollars every three months through AdSense. Um, I don't make money off YouTube. Um, it's just so that the community grows and more people are are traf uh, trafficked. There's more traffic in, into re uh, into Reddit. <laughs> That's a terrible slip of the tongue. More people are trafficked into doing better art. <laughs> Oh god, now I'm on the watch list for the FBI. Um, anyway, guys, I'm just tired. I'm a 30-year-old tired woman, all right? Just get me off your list already. I've been on the FBI list for like 20 years. Um, all right, so let's take a look at these. I can't even look at the chat right now. <laughs> um, yes, Twitch has treated you. Yes, how? Ha yes, how has Twitch treated um, Sorry, much better. Twitch has treated me very well. Um... I'm getting views again, views are climbing, I'm getting really nice uh, 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 stream info after every stream, um, and I managed to, to get into affiliate pretty quickly because I already had a following that followed me here. Um, so traffic me into art. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Um, okay, so let's talk about the 14-day challenge in front of us. What is happening here? All right, so get ready to get roasted. Get out your get out your your little roasting sticks or sticks, and let's roast this this person. 
So a couple of new mistakes here and there. What are they? What are new mistakes? What is that? It's the it's the mistakes that are pretty like they're pretty common across the board, and that's why having a community is so important. Because you all there are mistakes that you guys all make identically, identically. Because we all come from the same language development system. We all have our humans. This is how human habitual thinking. That these are the habits that result from that. Um, we all make the same conclusions about edges, about light. We all uh, have the same fears and anxieties um, while painting, and this results in really similar mistakes. Um, uh, painting to painting, artist to artist, especially if they're beginner to intermediate or early intermediate. So, um, you know, and I've been teaching for like a really long time. Um, uh, so my entire adult life I've been teaching. Um, so, uh, as soon as I could get a job at 18, I started teaching. Anyway, so, <laughs> so what we are looking at here is when I say intermediate, beginner, advanced, honestly, we may not like these, this terminology, but it's actually really, really useful terminology. It's good to know where you are, when, where you, when you entered intermediate, and to take these diagnostics seriously, because it literally will speed up stuff by like a year if you understand where your current standing is with your skill it'll speed stuff up really really fast you don't have to wait a year to see advanced artifacts in your illustrations advanced um, moments in your um, deductions went while rendering um, so just to you know understand where you are on the map of what needs to be changed what needs to be improved and you'll see improvement happen rapidly um, so I'm gonna just remove the background <coughs> And um, I'm going to talk about some basics first. So again, to reiterate, basics do not mean stupid little noob tools that are useless to me because I'm better than a noob. Basics are things that even the professionals have difficulties with because basics have this and really strong presence in everything that when you remove any, being good at drawing does not necessarily mean that you have left the world of basics, that you have evolved or improved to that you're no longer dependent on the basics. Um, they are things that, are, that, that professionals still use. Art is one of those rare things where the thing you learned on day one, you can still use um, moving forward. So not a lot of crafts have that. A lot of the stuff you learn in, in, in day one and a lot of fields and studies, uh, you don't actually use all of that, all of those tools. But art is one of the only um, uh, 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 schools of thought where the stuff you learned on day one is 100% prevalent on day 1000 or hour 1000. So I just blended some stuff here and there. So what's the basic here? Well, a sphere in top-down lighting casting a shadow off the nose would not have shadow at the top. All right, that's just like, that's blasphemy. You've broken the rules of, 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 of physics. You've broken the rules of light. It's impossible. Possible, right? Possible? I don't know. Spanish, English. That's impossible in both languages. So light comes from the top, shadow pools at the bottom. This is done with radial shading, meaning using soft brush to pile up your values to create the illusion of volume. Okay, so I apparently switched the two. Okay. Same difference. <laughs> Same possible. <laughs> um, so what are we doing here? So let me ask you. The artist is, is present. The artist is with us, right? Everybody hold, hold hands. Let's summon the artist in the audience. So may I, can I, may I have your permission to use this value up here? No. But I'm a beginner artist and I believe that everything needs a good outline. I think all healthy boys and girls, all growing boys and girls, need a good outline around them in order to, to, to make sense, right? You know what? And then on top of that, I'm going to just help myself and use this mid-tone color all the way down here. Yeah, that looks great. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm the best noob that ever was. This is called a beginner mistake for one big reason, is that you guys continue to believe 
that the line is the only way to transition from this object into the background. The line, it's like, it's like that toxic friend that you finally let go of. It's that toxic friend that you just say, you know what, I'm not hanging out with you anymore because you're just a piece of, right? So you, you want to let go of that, that line like that. You don't need an introductory value to connect you to the background. Write that back to me. You don't need a transition value in between the background and the foreground edge. Stop that. Stop it. Stop doing that. It's not good for you. It's a beginner mistake. So this wide line that you sneakily put in thinking, oh, that's just a shade. No, that's a line. You're line dependent, very, very line dependent still. And you need to work on that. I wasn't kidding when I said I'm going to roast you guys today. <laughs> All right, so I'm lightening that. What else has our little buddy Bob here? The simple little native shape here what else is he telling us so he's telling us that the lower half should not be bright and top-down lighting all right and then I'm also going to establish a mid-tone as well thank you Bob thank you for your help all righty and then I'm going to go to normal and I'm going to just find some mid-tones along the sides who cares if my brush is bleeding onto other things? Honestly, at this point, don't worry about the detail that you're fixing while correcting. Because remember, I, I paint to correct. You guys paint to st from scratch. Excuse me. All right, so what else is Bob telling us? He's telling us we need some highlighters. So I'm going to block in these highlighters. All right, Bob, thank you for your help. I'm going to just go ahead with the highlighters. Again, I switch this motherfucker again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give us a nice good blob of light, making sure the top half and the lower half of, what's this guy's name? This guy looks like a Fernando or something. Let's call him that. It is illuminated, maybe not that bright because it's kind of dark. His name is Fernando after all. <laughs> Eyes are generally too small. This has nothing to do with form, more to do with anatomy. But to do with form too, if your eyes are too small, it's just disproportionate. Okay, yes, eyes are supposed to be closer together for men, but not that much. And, um, and then the nose is a bit too wide. It's a characterizing nose, meaning it's a nose that you use if you are deliberately trying to paint a character with a bigger nose. Usually characters like that um, with a big nose have some kind of narrative purpose behind them, if you think like a writer. Um, it's, it's distinguishing um, and it's, uh, it's something that we, we try to avoid when doing 14 day challenges because it's too, char too much characterization, not enough neutral, not enough neutrality. All right, and so we need to distance the nose a little bit along, just along the ear line. It seems like he's towering over us. That's because his ears are pretty low. His ears are positioned way under, oh, I'm locked. Way under, filter, liquefy, the nose line and the eye line. Keep things level on the 14 day challenge. Again, it's all about keeping things neutral while perfecting all the complexity thereafter. Okay, so we've shrunk in the nose, which has looked less like a nose and more like, um, never mind. And uh, I'm gonna just lower that a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do next is get rid of the expression. Again, keep things neutral, keep things normal looking. Don't give yourself an excuse to hide fundamentals behind any characterization or expression because it will, these, uh, these, these nice little decorations will hide fundamental mistakes. Okay, so things are starting to look a little bit better. Um, then we have the general size of the, the head compared I mean, I should just probably increase the cranium instead of decreasing everything else. Um, so I'm just going to raise the size of the head so that it makes more sense. Okay. 
his head's like his actual cranium was just a bit too small. Okay, dokey. And then I'm going to locate and apply the cast shadow of the nose. Usually the Cupid's bow is a bit brighter in this light source situation. Cast shadow coming off the nose and onto the face is actually brighter than this. It does not share the same core shadow value as the nose. Male cheekbone, female cheekbones do this, male cheekbones do that. That's just an average, it's just a generalization. There's different kinds of faces across the globe. We're not trying to paint an, an, a, a, a universe. There's no such thing as a universally neutral. Uh, there's a neutral for every race maybe, but there's no universal neutral at all. So that's why you just ch pick a ra race that maybe your own, usually people pick their own and paint what's neutral to you based off your features. So before, um, image, image size 2000, and then I'm gonna move this angry boy over and just post this, paste this on top. And I'm gonna try to align them so the critique is complete. All right, so I tried to find the realistic equivalent of what you painted, but the fundamental changes are still there. Alrighty, so let me get rid of this distracting stuff and lay them on top even better than this. I believe that is them layered better. So, before, after. So, let's take a look at this, this girl. Let's call her Fiona. All right, she, you, what you've done is you've interpreted the eye shadow, which is applied with a very feathery brush on the eyes. It's not really lined with a, with a marker with a sharpie and you have interpreted this eye shadow not only as a general shadow but as a line this has flattened the eyes for you significantly all right and you as the artist should know when bad makeup is applied i don't know why it should be illegal to use a tight line around your eyelids even especially if you have small eyes you should be fine I used to work in makeup and I never understood why people would literally get a line and oh no no not out sh like shadow on the outside they just put the line on the inside and that's it and they already have small eyes and so they end up looking very very unnatural and it's just a very bad look what you want to do is keep the waterline open because it actually widens your eye enlarges your eye makes your eye more glossy more beautiful more more attractive and encourage the larger shadow for the entire lower eyelid area all right so i don't have time to cover everything but this is an improvement from where it was <clears throat> and then uh, there's just the general shadow of the eye socket that needs to be in place <clears throat> Highlight lines on the side of the nose. And I'll show you the before and after. And the general eyelid really is just dark, the, the eye white. It's not this uh, very white thing. It's a very dark room and a very dark light environment. Not very dark, but darkish. So before, to that, after. So it's moving in the right direction now. It's not done, but it's moving in the right direction. You, you can omit the lines you find in a reference because they are damaging your structure completely. And look at how you've raised this nostril. 
This is a sign that you need to do more through core review studies. That nostril is not that raised in your reference. That nostril is like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the small town. I'm going to go achieve my dreams in the city. Goodbye, twin brother. <laughs> this nostril is going places. <laughs> All righty. So look at the before, after. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching today. Isabrak, how do I get critiqued by your lovely hands? Um, go to isabrak.com and click on the Reddit icon here. This is where you can join to submit your work to have it critiqued. This is where you go to improve. There's zero charge to be part of this community. It's free, free, free. Uh, everybody critiques each other. I critique you. You guys critique me if you dare. <laughs> And it's just a big happy family. Um, if you are interested in Portrait Studio, um, it's available on my store, as well as the brushes I used today. If you're interested in supporting this class, you had fun, you sat with us, you enjoyed it, uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon for just a dollar a month. My goal is a thousand patrons by the end of the year. I hope I reach that goal. It's, it seems like it's a very difficult goal to reach. Every time I feel like the patrons are going up, they go back down. But that's why I ask for just a dollar from, from my watchers, just because it's a very small amount that shouldn't ask for too much. I understand even if that's a lot. I completely understand that I've been there. Um, but if you do have that, uh, you want to desire to support the class, please consider joining as a dollar. Um, together, that's a lot, you know, with everyone joining. And it's not leaving the burden on any one person joining for $20 a month and, you know, consistently forever. Whereas a dollar is a good forever amount that might help the community moving forward. So if you can and have considered it, please um, uh, uh, join me on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Um, and that's it, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'll see you guys hopefully this Thursday if my health and time allows at 5 p.m. Eastern. I love you guys so much and I'm um, having a lot of fun on Twitch. Um, let me see what everybody's saying. That nostril has dreams of its own. <laughs> Goodbye forever, nostril, too. Nostril starts singing, oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> so fast way to get spanked by words. Yes. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.